So I open out the lapel. Look how I turn that lapel out, guys. This is absolutely crucial. If you're not turning the lapel, man, you're just, you're in a bad spot. What's up guys, Professor Tom, I'm here with Matt Rice. We're gonna have some fun today looking at what I think is the safest, best submission from the back control we can do when we're in the gi. All right, so let's get straight into it. I've got Matt, back control hooks in, all right. Now, most of you guys will be used to having a seat belt, that's fine, even when I'm in the gi, I'm still gonna to wanna to be turning my hand down like this, making sure that forearm or bicep is right into his neck and my head is on the other side of his head and I'm covering up that hand. Don't let him get control of that hand. His hand's a money hand, okay? So what I wanna do from here, guys, is understand that there are submissions I can do, but even the rear naked choke, for instance, I will relinquish control to go for that submission. So ideally what I wanna be doing is finding things that aid my control that also will yield me a submission. So this submission is the same one Hodger Gracie used against Bashesha in the last match of Hodger Gracie's Jiu Jitsu career. So I start out my seatbelt, I've got my hooks in, happy days. But if I'm trying to go for rear naked chokes, man, it's gonna be hard, even harder in the gi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep my chin down and head pinned because if I use my hands for anything, I need to make sure that this guy's controlled. So my chin and my head will do a good job of that. So I open out the lapel. Look how I turn that lapel out, guys. This is absolutely crucial. If you're not turning the lapel, man, you're just, you're in a bad spot. You know, if you turn the lapel, that grip is 10 times better than this grip. So turn the lapel, thumb in, fingers go around that structure. Look how my wrist bone is deep into his neck, okay? Sometimes he'll sense that and he'll grab it and he'll pull that lapel out because he doesn't want me to choke. So he pulls the lapel out to get it away from his neck. Cool, just slide up deeper, all right? He jumps out of the frying pan into the fire. So once I've got my first grip, I need to get my second grip, okay? So I go straight across to the other lapel, approximately mid chest and tricep extend down as hard as I can. So I'm just doing that as hard as I can and that will not stop extending, okay? So now that I've done that, I can't just stay here and try to choke. At a low level that may work because if he grabs my elbow with two hands, he can stop the choke, dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide my elbow, but I'm not just gonna do that just with my elbow. I'm gonna rotate my whole body. So my whole body shifts approximately 30 to 45 degrees. Okay, so I take my right hook out, okay, and I hide my elbow behind his shoulder, and now I cross up over his firearm. Now from this position, with just the teeniest bit of force, maybe 1% of my strength, I get a super solid tap. So from here, I open and grab, go to the lapel, down we go. Now we've got to cut our angle, 45 degrees, just like finishing a triangle. Boom, up, cross, and lean back to apply. Sometimes, maybe your fingers are slipping, maybe the gi isn't in the right position, something's gone wrong, right? Shit happens in jiu-jitsu. So, if you're ever here and you're thinking, I don't know, it's not feeling great, I can simply come over his head and go for my straight armbar. So I start off with my double collar bow and arrow, and I can go straight into an armbar from this position. So, the beauty of this attack is once I've got these two collars, even if I didn't even know the submission, if I grab two collars, when Matt goes to escape, he can't go up, he can't go down, he can't go left, he can't go right, he's fully controlled. Grabbing two collars like this, if seatbelt gave you five points of control, this gives you 10 points. Now after a while, people will realize that one deep grip here is enough to finish the day. So what you want to start doing is you can start putting your hand under his gi, okay, like this. And then when he forgets, my fingers creep out and get it, all right? So sometimes instead of the Muhammad going to the mountain, sometimes we take that mountain and we roll it back and now we go here, okay, nice and tight, all right? So there's my 
in the gi, number one finish. I think it's the safest finish from the back. I think it's the easiest finish from the back. And even if you screw up the submission, you've still got this wonderful control. Very few people will ever lose the back from that position, which to me makes it wonderful. So since here in Australia, we're now back in the gi, we've got some more gi techniques for you guys to come. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget guys, hit subscribe and you can check out thegrapplingacademy.com. We've got a ton of free and premium courses on there for you to check out that aren't on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy. Boss. Awesome.